I saw something strange in my binoculars. Part one by Drunk Canadian Guy. Back in August, I was visiting some friends of my family in the Ukraine. For whatever reason, I asked if we could possibly check out Chernobyl. This came out of some morbid curiosity, but it turns out a lot of Westerners want to check out Chernobyl. At least that's what my cousins told me. To them, it was nothing new and they decided that we would go. Pripyat was only about an hour away, so me and my two cousins took off to go see it early in the morning. We weren't going to go into any radiated zones, but they knew an area that was close enough to see some pretty interesting things with a camera, and I had bought some cheap binoculars before we went. So as you can imagine, it is a pretty depressing sight, but it was still interesting to me for some reason. As my cousins were taking some pictures with their Nikon, I was scoping out the infamous Ferris wheel with my binoculars, and that's when I saw it. I saw the silhouette of a man or a woman. It was way too hard to tell as even with the binoculars, I was way too far away to notice any facial features, but there they were, just standing in a cart on the Ferris wheel near the top, waving at me. I told my cousins to come and check it out and they couldn't see the person through my binoculars, nor with their fancy camera and their expensive zoom lenses. They thought I was screwing with them, but I swore on everything that I was being serious. I checked again, aiming at the card I saw them in, but no one was there. After I returned to the US, this is where things became interestingly strange. I should also note that on the plane ride home, I had packed the binoculars in my carry-on luggage, and I had experienced the absolute worst turbulence imaginable. People were literally crying. And I'm only mentioning this now because everything is starting to add up for me as I type this. Anyway, I woke up about two weeks ago to hear my mom weeping on the phone. She was talking to my uncle and he told her that my cousin, who I was literally just hanging out with back in Ukraine, had passed away in a car accident. This crushed me. But this was just the beginning of horrible things that seemed to have all started as soon as I saw it. We couldn't afford to fly back again for the funeral, but my uncle understood. We wished him our condolences and talked several times that week. The day of the funeral was ironically the same date as my parents' anniversary, and they had booked a weekend away at some fancy hotel months ago, and they decided to go, leaving me home alone. Now we live out in the country, and our backyard is absolutely massive and private. Anyways, I was sound asleep, and I kept dreaming about that day back with my cousin in Chernobyl. He was holding the binoculars and aiming them at the Ferris wheel. He looked at me slowly and he said, I see it. Something was thrown against my window and this woke me up and instantly put me in a state of fight or flight. I sat up in bed and looked at my phone. It was 1.35 in the morning. Who is outside in the middle of the country right now? It was a full moon, so the outside had a natural light to it. I grabbed my baseball bat and slowly inched my way to the window to peek out. I saw nobody. Again? What the? I screamed to myself as I fell back in panic. I didn't know if I should turn on my lights, so I just sat there for a second looking around my room for anything. And that's when I saw them the binoculars, sitting there on the shelf beside my closet. I grabbed them, and I know this sounds like a horrible idea, but I needed to see who was out there before I called the police. It could have easily been one of my buddies trying to scare me, as they love to because I frighten easily. I was shaking as I got up off my knees and scoped out the backyard with them, and that's when I saw it. The same, exact, silhouette about 40 feet away, standing there, just waving. I could now see that this was an old woman, and I could see that it was grinning at me. I lowered the binoculars, and I couldn't see her anymore. But that's impossible, because she was just 40 feet away from my window. Nothing else is there. There is nothing to hide behind, and nowhere to run. But she was gone. I passed out, probably from fear, and that was the last time I looked through the binoculars. Since then, 
my dad was let go from his job. One of our closest family friend's house caught fire. They made it out, but still. It has also been raining here every day since then. We haven't seen the sun in weeks. I don't know what to do or who to tell, so I came here. I also keep having dreams of my cousin trying to hand me the binoculars, and this has been reoccurring for the past five days. It's like they're drawing me to them. I'm thinking about burying them, but I don't know. This situation is... It's taking a toll on me.